Hey, Internet. Want to see our house? Heather and I make up HD Adventuring, and over the past six months, we've lived full time in this expedition truck. Today, we are finally going to give you the full tour that you've been asking for. We'll share the outside, the inside, and all the little details that make this a functional house for us. We've got a quick favor to ask you before we start the tour. We spent most of the day cleaning the truck and ourselves before we started the video. So we figured in return, maybe you could subscribe and keep in touch so you can follow along for more. We've had a bunch of different adventure vehicles over the years, but none of them were ever a full-time residence for us. And none of them felt like quite the right fit or met all of our needs. When we decided we wanted to take the leap into living on the road, we decided it was time to go big or go home. Over the course of nearly a year, with major help from Alan at Overlander Global, we purchased a former Wildland fire truck and turned it into our Go Anywhere House on Wheels. First, we'll talk about the exterior. The chassis is a 2007 4x4 Mitsubishi Fuso FG140 that had a past life as a Wildland firefighting rig. We bought it with under 50,000 miles, and then we modified it for off-road use. 37-inch tires, custom suspension, a bumper with integrated lights and recovery winch mean we are ready for the dirt, sand, mud, and snow. We enjoy getting out, way out, and this 4x4 chassis allows us to do exactly that. On top of the chassis, we fabricated this 15 by 8 foot box from insulated composite panels and mounted it to the truck with a spring-assisted subframe to allow the truck frame to flex without damaging the box. We also installed exterior aluminum storage boxes, rear bumper and hitch, a 50 gallon fuel tank, and our spare tire is under the chassis with its own little winch for easy removal. Before we take you inside the rig, I wanna show you one of the reasons why we built a custom truck instead of buying one new or used, our garage. We custom fabricated this slide out tray to fit both of our specialized Stump Jumper Evo mount bikes. In the garage, we also store paddle boards, fishing equipment, and backpacking gear. On this side of the garage, we have plenty of extra room for storage where we keep paddle boards, tools, our hot water heater, and our electrical board. Speaking of our electrical system, we have 600 amp hours of our favorite SOK batteries, a full Victron charge system, and 1200 watts of solar on the roof. We also have an outdoor shower out here, which is great for washing our bikes off. And honestly, this is where we take most of our showers when we're in a beautiful place like Baja. We also have three exterior storage boxes, one on the other side, one here, and one here. In here, we store camping gear, recovery gear, tools, you name it, everything you need for truck life that we don't want to bring inside. The cab is relatively simple, but has a few creature comforts that we've installed, like heated seats and a CarPlay stereo. We also built this center console as an armrest, dog bed, and electronic storage area. Now, let's start the party and move into the camper.
Welcome to our house. We've called this home for the past six months and so far we've really loved it. We often notice that these expedition style trucks can feel militant or industrial inside. So we decided to warm things up with lots of wood tones and natural colors. Starting in the front of the truck, you'll notice how much light comes in. That's because we have a bunch of these giant Arctic turn windows. These things are great because they open super wide and they have integrated bug screens and blackout curtains. We really love them. The white walls and ceiling are simply the composite panels that we use to build this entire box. And though we considered covering them with something more interesting, color, texture, things like that, we actually opted to keep them because we really like the way that they reflect light, keep things cool in here, and they're super easy to clean with just your standard cleaning solution. Everything wipes just right off. You may have noticed this giant cutout in the front of the truck. This is our pass-through that allows us to get back and forth into the cab. We don't really use it a ton because it's much easier for us just to go around and use the main door because it really is a crawl through, but the dog uses it a bunch and it's also really convenient to have if the weather is really nasty or if we're in kind of a sketchy situation. <laughs> I guess he's modeling it for you. Above the pass-through is our mini split air conditioner. And this is just a heat pump style unit like you'd put in any regular house. It does have the ability to heat, but we don't use it for that. Though we haven't had to use it very often, it's really convenient to have when we're in hot climates. And it's also a great peace of mind to know that we can leave the dog in a climate controlled area when we do leave the truck on warm days. You can see that I'm sitting here in our dining area and we custom built these benches so that we could store our 50 gallon water tank here under the front bench. It also has a port so that we can fill it from the exterior on the outside of the truck. And then under my side and that bench over there, we have a ton of storage. This is a custom tabletop that we have mounted to a Lagoon arm. You're probably familiar with these, but they're so flexible and awesome because we can move this around to make it easier to get in and out. Um, but it also makes it easy to store this table and it drops down so that we can turn this whole thing into a guest bed. And then above our dinette, we have our upper cabinets, which we use as our closets. So Dana is, is on this side and mine's over on that side. Back over here by the front door, we custom built this cabinet to act as a junk drawer because every house needs one. The top section has all of Bruce's dog supplies, toys, treats, etc. The middle section is wired as a charging station for small electronics and is also where we store other random stuff that doesn't have a designated home. And on the bottom we can fit about five pairs of shoes. Welcome to our kitchen. We're gonna start off here with our sink, which is obviously giant. It's larger than any sink we've ever had in even a normal house. Uh, but we chose this because although we had a fair bit of counter space, we don't have a lot of depth to work with because our refrigerator is actually under here on a track that slides out. Um, so we had to get a little bit creative with uh, having shallow plumbing and a shallow sink. So instead of going deep, we went wide. Um, luckily, this sink has this integrated cutting board and drying rack. So what we lose in counter space, we actually make up a little bit here. So above the sink next to my closet is another cabinet. And that's what we use for some of our kitchen storage. So we can fit a lot up here. All right, so we're gonna slide over on here next to the sink to our induction cooktop. We decided to go this way because we didn't feel like dealing with propane uh, and we generate enough electricity with all of our solar that this just seemed like an obvious choice for us. We really love this. We decided not to integrate it into the actual countertop so that it's portable. So we can actually, on nice days, just unplug it here and bring it outside and cook outside. And then under the cooktop, we have a ton of storage here. These drawers hold everything. So from cooking equipment to personal items, toothbrushes, things like that. These bottom ones are a lot deeper. So we have a ton of snacks in there, everything we could possibly need. We did decide to go with these marine grade locks so that when we're traveling, we make sure they're locked in place and that way they don't slide out and ruin everything while we're driving. 
So moving above the cooktop, we did decide to install a ventilation hood, which has been great for cooking, reduces smoke, um, and it does a really good job. It also has a light integrated into it, which is nice when we're cooking at night. And then above that, we have our microwave. And you might think well, that's a little weird to prioritize space for microwave in an expedition vehicle, but we use this thing every single day. Uh, we love leftovers. We'll cook a big dinner and then heat it up for lunch the next day. And yeah, we, we really use this all the time. Next to the microwave is the control center for our camper. Up top is the Truma Combi heater controller. This unit is tapped into our truck's diesel tank and heats both water and air. Under the Truma is our Victron controller. This allows us to see our battery and water levels, as well as how much electricity we're using and harvesting from our solar array. And below this are our switches for our WeBoost cell booster, Starlink internet, water pump, and a high altitude switch for the Truma. Now, let's move on to the bathroom. We've never had a toilet or shower in a vehicle before, and having these two things are key to making our truck comfortable for long-term living. We have a very simple wet bath and use this Trelino dry composting toilet, which is portable and lightweight. To take a shower, you simply move the toilet out of the bathroom and then you have plenty of space. We're really happy to have this option, although we do find ourselves showering outside more frequently. You can see there's a small arctic turn window and a vent fan for <clears throat> extra ventilation. And we also have a heater vent so when we have wet gear it gets hung in this room to dry out. All right, and this is the last part of the tour. This is our bedroom. This is a standard queen size mattress that we're able to fit in here. And even though the bed is really high off the ground in order to accommodate those bikes that are underneath us in the garage, there's still uh, plenty of space for me to sit up and read and we're super comfortable up here. We've also got some extra storage above our feet here so we keep extra clothes and random things. In this area, we've got the two giant windows. We've got um, dimmable reading lights with USB chargers integrated. And yeah, it's just super cozy and comfy up here. We really like it. We hope that you enjoyed the tour of our Expedition truck. Now that you've seen our house, we ask again that you consider subscribing to our channel. We live in this truck full time and have a ton of adventures planned, both in the States and internationally. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know about our new adventures and see where we take this beast. Thanks for watching.